G, a P, S, and the S stands for "Damn it, Perna, you curse Trevor Lawrence." Oof. Oof. Yeah. It, the entire time, Oof. I'm like, I'm watching the game. It's Monday Night Football. I'm like, you know what? It's a pretty competitive game. You know, all that stuff. And then Trevor Lawrence unfortunately goes down. And it's concern of like, oh, God, oh, no, oh, no. And there's like a two-second lag to being going, Perna. Like, everybody was like, I'm like, guys, it wasn't Perna. He wasn't trying. They're like, Blade put the, the virtual pitchforks and torches were Ooh. out. They were yeah. out and they were ready, ready. And, so. you know, I, I leaned into it on Friday. I said, I'm actually rooting for the curse. Uh, I don't root for the, and I, I specified on Friday. Not injury. Not I said, injury. I'm not rooting for injuries. I said, I'm rooting for the Jags to lose just for the curse. Yep. And they lose in overtime to Jake Browning. Like, to me, that's perfect. That's perfect. It was a double curse, though. It, but it was a double curse. Double curse. And luckily, Trevor Lawrence only suffered a high ankle sprain. Uh, so, which obviously is not ideal. <laughs> okay, those are <laughs> those are tricky, lingering injuries, and they can be very serious. But he there he could, in a in a in an Aaron Rodgers world, play this week. Okay, uh, <laughs> probably not, but you know. Well, so that's my, I, cause I just never know, right? I am not a medical professional and I never pretend to be, but yeah. I was like, okay, high ankle sprain. Like, yeah, it could have been significantly worse. I also thought that that was like significantly worse than a regular ankle sprain. It is. And like that could keep people out a significant amount of time, but it the can. way it was reported seemed very contained where it was like, nope, week to week, like could play against the Browns yeah. on Sunday. And I was like, huh, okay. And then I'll just continue to not understand medical science. That's it. Yeah, That's it. it's oh, yeah, I mean, true. You also Christian Kirk is going to be out too. He has to get surgery. Yeah, he at high ankle sprain. If you're dealing with a skill player, you definitely do not want that. Um, how Trevor Lawrence handles the pain mm. and how it affects his mobility, like what he can do on that ankle is really what it's going to come down to. But yeah, high ankle sprains, they're weird injuries. Just like hamstrings are weird injuries. Like, you don't know. Sometimes it's like a guy has a hamstring injury. Two weeks later, he's great. Sometimes he has a hamstring injury, and you don't see that guy for three months. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think Kenny Pickett just had that tightrope surgery on his ankle, yep. Yep. and that was after lingering effects from a high ankle sprain. So exactly. you just don't know. What we do know is we've seen Mac Jones get a high ankle sprain and look like he had been shot uh, in a, in, yeah. in the war. <laughs> like, so, like some of the images from him in the being war. carried off the field and just screaming. We saw Trevor Lawrence think he suffered a really serious injury uh, yeah. and it, it was a high ankle sprain. So what I do know is high ankle sprains probably it's hurt real. pretty bad. Probably it's hurt real. pretty bad. Well, One so last thing I want to yeah. say. I res I have more respect for Jaguars fans after the curse. The amount of people showing up on my Twitter to tell me to piss off. Uh, yep. I got I got on the Jag subreddit. Like, yep. Jags got a solid fan base, and I got a lot of respect for your passion, Jacksonville. I I, I don't think of all the curses that have actually played out this season. <laughs> of all the teams I've cursed, I've seen more summer. fans show up to give me the bird. So. Uh, I actually, I think I, and I already liked mm -hmm. Jags and Jags fans, but I, sure. I like them even more now. So, like, um, you know, yeah. it's not me. It's the wheel. So I, don't, I take no responsibility. I mean, you need to burn the wheel. It's really Jeff Bezos when you think about it. I, I got it on Amazon, so he's the devil. I thought you were going to make a Thursday night football joke, but okay, that one works too. Well, like, dude, it. I just feel so bad for Jaguar fans. This is the first time in 12 years that they're on Monday night football. They're yep. going up against a Joe Burrow list Bengals. So the mm -hmm. thought and implication is they're going to win Slam this dunk. game. And then no, no. And it's like, that's what they got. Kirk gets injured on the first catch. And then Trevor Lawrence gets injured. They're struggling. And I think, cause I actually want to talk about the game too. And of course, yeah. you know, Lawrence going down is uh, the biggest concern right now, but I'm also concerned about that defense because the best play they made was intercepting Tyler Boyd. 
And yeah. that defense has kind of been consistently good all season. And it's been that offense, which is like, okay, they have those flashes. Like Calvin Ridley will go off for one week and then he'll be super quiet. And then they'll like, ETN will go off and then yeah. they'll be super quiet. So, I mean, I'm concerned for the Jaguars because the Colts and the Texans are right there. They're right on their tail. And like, we talked about them potentially getting a playoff spot. They're going to be in contention for a division title, especially if Lawrence is missing like a decent amount of time. One place it could be destroyed. Cast them into the fire! Destroy it!